Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering the destruction of ESG as investors decide they do not want their money going into stupid ESG funds that are not focused on return on investment. They're focused on progressive woke agendas and the funds are starting to shut down and people are getting their money back. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. What is an ESG investment and why is it collapsing? Environmental, social, and governance investing is used to screen investments based on corporate policies and to encourage companies to act responsibly. In other words, to follow the woke progressive agenda that somehow they've taken their radical politics and pushed it into investment standards. It does not belong there whatsoever, and it's great to see it collapsing. Many mutual funds, brokerage firms, and robo-advisors now offer investment products that employ ESG principles. Well, coming from Breitbart and a number of other publications, more ESG funds in the United States closed in 2023 than in the past three years combined. The funds are being shut down for two main reasons. One, investors actually want a return on investment. Two, the fees for these scam ESG funds investing in companies that follow a woke diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda are actually more expensive for people to invest in. So there you are, you're at your job, you're working a long time, you're putting aside money for your pension, and these people come in and say, hey, here's a way we can steal some of that money put it into progressive agendas and finance things that you have absolutely no interest in having financed. Things that aren't offering the best return on your money. And that will and already has affected millions of people's retirements. This should be criminal. Why should it be criminal? Because every investment manager has what's called a fiduciary responsibility. What is a fiduciary responsibility and who holds that fiduciary responsibility? Any person who has an obligation to act in the best interest of another person is considered a fiduciary. A fiduciary can be a lawyer representing a client, a trustee, and a beneficiary, a corporate board, and shareholders, even employees, and a company can be fiduciaries with the responsibility to act on the best interest of the person they represent. This is what's blowing this thing up because what they're doing really isn't legal, even though there's been a recent win from the Biden administration allowing investment companies to invest against the financial interests of the people they represent. We'll get into that because that is absolutely going to get appealed. 25 states are fighting it and it's very likely to get overturned. From Breitbart, more environmental, social and governance investing funds have closed in 2023 than the last three years combined amid political backlash and investor scrutiny. Bloomberg reported that State Street, Columbia Threadneedle Investments, Janice Henderson Group, Hartford Management Group and others closed more than two dozen ESG funds this year, according to Morningstar. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager and a prominent backer of ESG investing, said it would close two, quote, sustainable emerging market bond funds with total assets of $55 million. Morningstar also found that investors have pulled more money from ESG funds in the first half of 2023 than they put into them. ESG investing has become one of the latest vectors by which large financial investing firms can push companies to adopt leftist woke positions such as anti-climate change, diversity requirements, and racial justice that they would otherwise not adopt. So the investment managers that control people's pensions, that have trillions of dollars to push around, will buy stock in these companies and then go back and tell the companies, look, we don't care if it's profitable or not. We need you to push this diversity, equity, and inclusion agenda or we're not going to invest in your company. Companies get abused that way. They get manipulated that way. But these funds are not creating returns for investors and investors are catching on. These people really should just be thrown into prison. There's no question that what responsibility they had when they took on the job of handling other people's money. Can you think of a more serious thing 
than handling other people's money and saying, okay, I will be careful with your money. I promise I'll do my best with it. And then turning around and talking to companies and saying, look, we don't care about the return on investment. You need to push our woke agenda or else. Conservative politicians and investors have increasingly scrutinized these ESG funds and asset managers that have pushed ESG such as BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. Bart News Economics editor John Carney reported that a study found that ESG funds appear to underperform financially, underperform financially compared to other funds while also charging higher fees. They all charge higher fees. That's not even a question. There's an extra percentage or two that they charge if you want to have your money put into an ESG fund. Of course, no pension holders want to pay extra fees and charges just to invest in a fund that's not focused on return on investment. It's the managers who say, sure, put it into the ESG funds. As You can take whatever percentage you want. It's not our money. Just push our agenda. Columbia Threadneedle said its ESG fund was closed due to investor feedback and market demand. Bloomberg concluded, Bloomberg concluded its industry survey of its terminal clients and that terminal is a machine that gives subscribers extra information on what's going on in the marketplace, which generally includes big banks, hedge funds, and other large financial institutions, and found that big investors increasingly see ESG as an underperforming fad. Quote, ESG has morphed from risk management to political activism for the left, one respondent said. Another Bloomberg terminal client said, quote, our job is to provide returns for investors not change the world. In June, BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said he no longer uses, quote, ESG, lamenting it has become politicized. The Biden administration has been pushing a special allowance for companies like BlackRock who handle people's pension funds to not be so concerned about return on investment. And recently, a federal judge sided with the Biden administration on an administration rule that would allow retirement advisors to include climate and environmental factors in their calculations. This is going to be appealed, and I am sure they're going to lose because fiduciary responsibilities always come first when you're handling someone else's money or taking care of someone else's interests. It's like an attorney. An attorney is not allowed to consider, is this good for the environment and good for my client? Or do I need to do something that's just good for my client? It's going to get resolved. But in the meantime, it's absolutely downright depraved to think you're going to take someone's hard-earned money and put it towards a political agenda when they really need that money to retire. They could lose a lot of money fooling around with things like this. You can't allow an investment advisor to make decisions on your behalf that aren't concerned with return on investment. In that event, why would you even utilize an investment advisor when you can use a political advisor? You may as well ask Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton to make your investment decisions based on what they think is woke enough. How could you even give someone credentials to make decisions for investments unless the investments would show that it would help your retirement financially, not support what they think might help the world or might not help the world? It's absolutely ridiculous and sinister. This is where it actually all turned for BlackRock, ESG, and Larry Fink, the biggest promoter and proponent of ESG investing. BlackRock is caught in the ESG crossfire and struggling to get out. This goes back to December 2022. BlackRock and Chief Executive Officer Larry Fink spent the past several years championing investment strategies that focus on a now ubiquitous and tormented acronym ESG. As a result, the asset manager behemoth has become a leading corporate voice in the environment, social, and governance movement. While that has been a boon for BlackRock, linking its brand to a do-gooder ethos and helping to generate fees on the hundreds of billions of assets it manages under its myriad of sustainable funds, the backlash has been ferocious. BlackRock's push into ESG transformed the firm into a political punching bag for politicians of all stripes. On the right, Republicans like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis have blamed ESG for hurting the fossil fuel industry and claim that BlackRock is turbocharging America's woke culture. Meanwhile, Democrats, including U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, of Massachusetts, have criticized the firm for not doing enough. Quote, he's kind of caught in the middle. New York State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli said a thing during an interview Wednesday with Bloomberg reporters and editors. 
He's getting it from the left and he's getting it from the right. The criticism has reached a fever pitch. A Texas Senate committee subpoenaed BlackRock for documents and asked for executives to attend a hearing on Thursday. This is so serious because they're literally handling hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars, and they're supposed to be investing as a fiduciary. They're supposed to be very careful with making sure they're getting a good return on investment. Obviously, a review of their documents would show that their concerns are not about a return on investment. Their concerns are about pushing a political agenda. The Republicans really push them into a corner and good for them because this is such an abuse of power where people have no idea where their personal pensions and their personal money is going. They rely on these people and except through politicians pushing back, there's really no way to address this. In August 19th, 2022, Republican state attorney generals signed a letter accusing New York-based BlackRock of favoring its ESG commitments at the expense of pension fund profits. Since then, some states, including Louisiana, have started to pull money from BlackRock funds. In December, Florida made the biggest withdrawal yet, pulling $2 billion. Fink, in response, has struggled to find a middle ground that would keep him and the firm out of the crossfire. He has emphasized BlackRock's commitment to fossil fuels, pulling them a necessary bridge to a clean energy future, and noted that the asset manager has sizable investments in oil-rich regions from Texas to Saudi Arabia. We understand that these companies are still going to be pushing a social agenda here, and they're going to certainly be pushing a social agenda there. But they are going to be held accountable for their fiduciary responsibility to make sure that when they're handling other people's money, and that is what they do, handle billions and trillions of dollars of other people's money, they do it on a basis that is not political, that is not pushing a certain kind of agenda, other than the agenda of getting these people a good return on their investment so that people can retire with some dignity with the money that they've carefully saved up for their entire careers. So far, the Biden administration does have a win where they have been allowed to push out this rule giving some cover for this kind of investment, where as long as it pushes ESG and woke agendas, they're allowed to continue to do it even when the financial analysis doesn't make sense. However, once that's appealed, that will wipe out the last permission that investment managers have to focus on politics instead of their fiduciary responsibilities to take care of their clients. That should be happening soon. In the meantime, even Bloomberg reports these ridiculous ESG investment funds are getting shut down and money managers are forced to look for a good return on investment for their clients, even when they don't want to. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Always love to see your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.